Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the new 0.91 update for Scum. And we've got a few new things to show you guys, but I just spent about a few hours figuring out how I can help you guys, especially for the players that are quite new to Scum. Like most of the old and most of the long term player base has flown planes before. But I thought I'd just give you guys a quick guide. So I'm going to show you exactly where you can find these planes, okay? And we are at the little airfield here in Z0. You can always just park very, very close to this um, fuel, you know, fuel drum here and then refuel your plane here. And we've got two M249s. A new thing to the update is the planes and that you can add the M249s instead of just the um, RPKs. And then you can use the M249s in PvP events as well, okay? So plain and simply, I've got the one M249 with the sight on that I'd like to use. So I'm going to switch to the M249 without the sight on. I'm going to look at this bracket here on in front of the plane i'm going to press f and then we attach it okay to the plane over there and then i'm going to go to the other one that doesn't have the sight on I'm going to look there press f okay and then we've got two m m49 m249s on the plane with full ammunition now you two people can fly this plane one can sit up front and he can still use his weapon when he's up front, okay? So I'm just going to show you guys quickly. Even if I sit up front, I cannot fly the plane, but I can still use my weapon, okay? So someone inside the plane can still use the weapon. And then you can still press F1 like always to go to the main, the main seat, okay? And it's very easy to fly. All you do is you mouse scroll wheel forward. And then you press Q and E to steer. But you must have some speed before you can steer. Because if you don't have speed, the, you, your control gets less. And then you can just, when you think you're on target, just mouse scroll wheel up all the way. And then you can press S to lift off. Okay, so Q and E is to steer left and right. You can see the back propeller, okay, giving you that capability. And then you can press A to turn and S to go up, okay? And then you press W or D to level it out. You can press D again and then S or, um, you know, or W. So, of course, W lets you go, you know, S lets you go up, W lets you go down. Very, very simple, okay? And then as soon as you turn, you can still just go up to turn very quickly. Okay, then we can even do loop-de-loops if we want to, okay? So, you can just get used to that, and if you press escape, there are ways to make it easier for yourself. If you struggle, um, if you struggle with this, uh, I'm just going to see here quickly. Yeah, there is... Enable airplane flight assist. You can put the flight assist on. As soon as you put it on, then your plane is going to level out on its own very quickly. Like I turn, it stands dead. I turn, okay? It's just going to make flying extremely easy for you, for you. I don't know if it's applied right now, okay? But like I say, you can always turn it on and turn it off. Flight assist just makes it way, way easier to, to level the plane out. Now, the place where you can find these planes, and of course, we can shoot with the guns, okay? We can definitely shoot. We can go into first person just to help us a little bit with where we're going, and then we can... Okay. That's all the bullets gone. 
So be very, 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 very careful. We can always land to refill, okay? Um, to put some new ammo in. But I'm just gonna quickly go to the, there are, you can find a plane at the B2 airfield and at the D4 airfield, okay? At the moment, you can't find planes at the naval base because that's only for um, planes that can, that you can land on water, okay? So let's just go to the B2 airfield quickly and I'll show you guys. So here we're coming onto the B2 airfield, okay, the commercial airfield. And the planes will be in the two big hangars in front of us. Okay, so here's the first hangar. That's where you can find a plane over there. And you can find a plane in there as well. Okay. And then I'm going to show you the other places where you can find a plane quickly. And remember, a plane is very good for surveillance, guys. You can slow the plane down because you can only see players at about a thousand meters, okay? So a plane is very, very good for surveillance, trying to spot players before you go into an area, okay? Or before your team goes into an area. You can always come and scope out the place. Okay, I've slowed the plane down with my mouse scroll wheel to where I'm not flying very fast. And now I can scope out an area before my team goes in. Okay? So here we go into the D4 airfield. I'm mouse scroll wheeling up again to speed it up. And the best way to use a plane is, of course, to scope out an area, like I can turn the engine off and just quickly check if there's any players here, okay? And then I can scroll wheel up again. You can just slow yourself down extremely quickly by turning your engine, you know, by slowing your engine down all the way. But you're gonna need speed to, ha to control the plane. The less speed you have, the less control you have, okay? So that hangar over there is the other place where you get planes, okay? It hasn't got a plane in at the moment because um, they've been taken, but trust me, okay? There, inside there, it, you will find an aeroplane. And with a little bit of flying that, we, that we've done, um, our aviation is already at 23%, okay? So it doesn't take very long to level it up. But like I say, when you want to land, just get a clear, just get a clear place, you know? Like this over here looks like a clear spot. And then, you know, line it up. My mouse scroll wheel is all the way down. Okay, this is a ramp over here, which is a little bit scary, but I can press sp a space bar, okay, to slow the plane down, and then I can just press F. Okay, holding space bar while spamming F, and you can get out of the plane. And that's about the only way you're going to get the plane to stand still. The plane doesn't really want to stand still on its own. But be careful, you need an open field, okay? Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit tricky. So we're going to give it some power. That road over there looks good. We need speed to turn the plane. Remember, you need speed to turn the plane. And then as soon as I feel happy, I'm going to mouse scroll wheel up all the way until my back lifts up, you know, the back part of the, the plane lifts up, and I'm going to go again. Now... You can refuel at at the little airfields, um, you know, that I told you about. Again, this airstrip over there and this airstrip over here in A4. And then once you feel, you know, once you feel you're you're good, then you can try uh, a landing 
that takes quite a bit of control. And it's quite difficult to land at this trader, and it's quite difficult to land at this trader. It's not difficult landing at the Z3 trader or the A0 trader because they've got their own air, long airstrips. Okay? So it won't be that difficult. So let's quickly see how we land at the small, at the difficult trader. Okay, so here we're coming up on the trader. Just want to see the, the little strip um, spawning. Going to slow, my, slow the plane down a little bit already. Okay, there it is. Going to turn the engine off. There is the landing strip. Engine is turned off completely. And this is what you do when you're comfortable with the plane. So just gonna hit, gonna hit it right here. Okay. And then I'm gonna press spacebar. Just gonna press spacebar. Okay. And then I'm gonna press F to get out of the plane. And again, only getting out of the plane will stop the plane. Okay, now we can do our shopping and we can get back into the plane. Um, I'm just going to put tracer rounds into the plane quickly because personally, I struggle with um, knowing where my rounds are going. Okay, I would love them to give us an ADS mode in planes so that we know where we're shooting at. But if you want better control or if you want to see where your bullets go to have to just, you know, fight better because you don't you're not sure where the bullets are going, then buy tracer rounds. So I'm going to put two M249s on here with tracer rounds and then we see how it goes. OK, funny enough, guys, um, it's giving us an unequipped weapon option now. And there we go. We just unequipped the weapon. Okay. So don't know if that's a bug. I think most bugs you can fix by logging out and logging back in. We are in the trader zone now. And we could always do tests like, you know, how easy it is in a flag area, how easy it is in a trader zone. I think I just logged out and logged back in. But yeah, this is how it's supposed to work. Okay. You can just unequip it. And then you must be able to just unequip the gun. Okay. So there is working correctly. Okay, so we can use the planes functionally on servers. A single player is very bugged, but like I always tell you guys, I do all my tests on my test servers. So the information that I give you is as accurate as possible. So let's put some tracer rounds in and let's see if we can figure out where our bullets go. Okay, so we've loaded these bad boys with tracer rounds. We're going to equip this one here. We'll take the other one, equip it there. And I feel, guys, because the planes are so rare and they're not too easy to get because of the sentries, um, I would personally refuel my... I would refuel uh, a plane at the trader, okay? So I would buy my gas at the trader, okay? I'm just going to um, spawn in... Uh, gasoline canister quickly i would personally just get buy my gas at the trader and refuel my plane like this okay because if you land at the two small airfields someone could be there and you could lose your plane okay so i would personally refuel the plane here and you guys can see it takes quite a bit of fuel but one is fine so okay so we're just going to put it down here got to get into the plane but I would use the other two airfields because this one is a little bit difficult, okay? So I'm going to go for this, um, but what I'm going to do now is just go for it. I'm just going to go for it. It's, li it's lifting up, and here we go. There we go, okay? So I would land at the other two airfields. But now that we've got traces, we can see more or less. You can see 
that the, the bullets are going through the middle of the window. You see the middle of the window? You see that? So in first person, the bullets are going... If the target is in the window, which is quite difficult, but if it's in the window... Okay. Third person, very difficult. Very, very difficult to see where you're shooting at like this. A little bit easier, okay? So you want to fight in first um, in first person. You say someone's there on the road, okay? You're going to get onto the road. And it's going to take a bit of skill and we're empty again. And then... The other great way, like I say, guys, this 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 trader and this trader has got longer airstrips to land at, which will be easier. But let's say, let's say you let's say you scan this place and you see a player there. If your friend is in the front, he can do this. Now the plane is going to disappear. Now shift and F let you jump out of the plane. Okay, and now your friend can do like a SWAT ops, a SWAT ops operation here. Okay, he can do like a SWAT team operation here. And if the wind isn't too strong, okay, like you guys saw people here, and now your friend can land here, okay. And check out the place if you're alone you lose your plane but if you've got a friend with you you can use this to your advantage but what i like to use this for is cargo drops so if you're alone and a cargo drop happens you have to land the plane and then like if you with the plane you'll be at the cargo drop faster than anyone else except if they're very close to the cargo drop the thing is people can hear your plane from miles away Okay, as you can hear, they can hear your plane from miles away. So if you land close to a cargo drop, people are going to know where you landed. Okay, um, so if you can at least play with one friend, then you can just fly over the cargo drop and your friend can drop out of the cargo drop. Okay, and try and loot the, the drop like that or get a good position or something like that. So those are the planes. If you guys have got any other questions about the planes, leave it down in the comments below. And now we're going to look at the um, the other cool th stuff that the uh, update has brought. Okay, another great addition that the, that, um, the 0 0.91 update brings is EMP grenades. Okay, so an EMP grenade disables a sentry for about 10 seconds. But the most important thing is that it resets a sentry um, detection system. So it resets it as if, the, as if the sentry never saw you in the first place. Now, not only does this help you to not get shot, but if someone comes to where you were, they won't see the sentry's lights being yellow, okay, knowing that you were there. So what you can do now is just take the EMP grenade, add it to your quick access over here, and then activate the hand so that when you press G, you're just going to throw the grenade. So we're going to run up to the sentry. He's going to warn us like he always does. Okay, that wasn't close enough. Okay, so we're gonna throw throw it again. Okay, so there we've put him off. Okay, for about 10 seconds. Unfortunately, we can't run, but now we can come stand in this bush and wait for him to turn back on. And now he's reset. He doesn't. Oh, this bush isn't big enough. Lost and I'm 
Okay, so there he's off. We can go into the bunker if that other guy doesn't see us. Okay. And then he's forgotten about us. He's white now. He doesn't even know that we were here. Okay. So the EMP grenades is going to help a lot with with our problems that we have with sentries. Okay, so I'll spawn in three again. So even even if you don't want to deal with them at all, you know, like you don't really want to deal with them at all, we're going to come here. We're going to throw him. Okay, we've disabled him. And now we don't have to worry about him anymore. Okay, and it's going to be as if we were never there. He's going to reset like we were never there. You can see his lights are white. Okay, he doesn't even remember that someone was there. But this sentry has detected us. So if this sentry ever sees us again, okay, it's not going to work out very well for us. So, as you can see... This sentry's lights, if we can look at his lights quickly, that it's, it's orange, it's, it's yellow. Okay, so if somebody else comes here, they're gonna know that we were here. Then we've disabled him, so when he wakes up, he, will, he won't remember us. We've got about 10 seconds to get in here. And he, he's completely forgotten about us. Okay? Completely forgotten about us. Okay? And nobody knows that we're here. So, that, so that's how you use grenades, guys. And that's how we go out. Okay. And we don't have to worry about sentries anymore. Okay. The other thing is that we've gotten a knife sheath. You guys know about the pistol holsters. Okay. So that the pistol doesn't take up any other inventory space. And now we've got the sheath as well. Okay. So for, the, for a knife. So that we, so that we always, you know, so that we can always just put the, the knife is going to default to, to the sheath. Okay. We put it in our hands. It's in our hands now. And then we can always just put it back there. So if we take out the gun. Okay. I'm just going to put my UI back on. We take out the knife. We take out the gun. It's going to default back to the sheath. Okay, the melee weapon holster. That's a new addition to the game. Just saving us a little bit of inventory space, which is nice. Then we've got some extra clothing from for, you know, we've got some extra clothing that we can use. These are basically the main things, okay, that have come to the update. So we've got the King Ladaster, the plane. Then we've got the EMP grenades, okay? And the EMP grenades can disable night vision. It can um, disable a car battery, okay? And it can disable the sentries. Then we've got admin loot control, which will take quite some time for any admin to figure out. I will take probably more than a month to understand how the admin loot controls work because even the developers themselves have made loot changes that were broken and then had to adapt it back so i'm not going to play with this because if you don't know what you're doing um, then you can do a lot more damage to a server than good okay but the admins have got more loot control i just wish they made it a little bit easier and at the moment you can't drag a chest outside of your flag area okay so just be very very aware of that if you're not in your flag area you cannot move a chest and you can only pick up a chest if it's un under 80 kilograms 
depending on your strength, okay? But with three strength, you cannot pick up a chest with more than 80 kilograms in it. So outside of your flag area, you can't drag chests. Inside of your flag area, you can um, drag chests, okay? And like here is the... Here is the what I spoke about with the helmet. You know, we used to get the helmet, the goggles, and the face protector. Now you can just wear the helmet or just wear the face protector. Um, so yeah, you get the various variations. Then we get getting the new clothing. This thing only has one inventory slot, the tactical vest, which is a little bit disappointing. You know, but we've got skirts for the women and nicer things. Then we've got the rag, the, the rag... Um, you know, you can make gloves now with two rags, which are quite nice. And then you've got the, the holster. Okay, then we've got a few bug fixtures. Quality, I usually look at the qualities of life. Majority of baseball the elements now require less resources. According to some of the community, it only takes half the resources that it used to take. So baseball is going to be a lot easier. Um, change the rotation and pivot of the N9 knife, fix the rotation and pivot of um, Miss Impossible knife, move long paddle item from fishing category to miscellaneous, and the fishing trader, increase shelf life of antibiotics and painkillers so that your meds don't die so quickly, add an improvised descriptions on all magazines where they show which ammo type they support, and added the M249 to events, okay? Um, so that's, that's basically it, guys. Um, like I say, the planes, um, the planes are the biggest thing, okay, about the new update. And, yeah, the, 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 the glove, you know, the gloves are quite nice, like if we spawn in rags here. Um, we spawn in two rags here. Um, remember when you make these gloves, um, uh, you can make it with, remember the arrows, you can use two rags, dirty rags, rag strips, okay, or dirty rag strips, okay, so rather use the rag strips rather than the rags, but you can craft the gloves, and then you can put it, you know, then you can equip it. And there we go. Really, really not a cool looking, cool looking rag gloves. Okay. So let me just get a really, really cool screenshot here. And then I'll be, you know, I'll be back with you guys. Remember guys, I've got six servers and I've got a test server and I've got an event server. I love helping you guys. If you've got any questions, ask it down below. And let's get excited because the developers are busy with the new trailer. So this isn't the one that we're waiting for, okay? At somewhere in November, so I'm thinking the end of November or the beginning of December, we're getting a major update where your starting screen ends, where like we see in Brenner, we're getting a big update where the starting screen or where the loading screen changes, okay? With a brand new trailer. And the developers have personally told me this is going to be a game changer. So let's get excited, okay? Because in the next month or two, maximum, we're going to have a heck of a lot of fun, okay? So let's get excited about that. Click that like button if you like the video. And hit that subscribe button and the bell button to be notified of future videos. Keep surviving. My name is Matthias. And I think this game is the best game on the planet. Hope you agree with me. Cheers.